Hello, hello. We're back on this Harvest Moon playthrough. Always gotta check the weather. Um, let's see where we're at. Got a little bit of money. I'll have a lot of money in the afternoon today. Because yesterday was a forest, or uh, a holiday thing. Festival. Yeah, festival. We got enough lumber for our chicken coop expansion, but we need 5,000 gold. The large rucksack just came in. And I need at least 10 bags of pineapple seeds, which is also $5,000. Um, and I need a gold watering can. That's all by the end of spring. It's the 23rd. We've got a week left. We got four chickens, probably two chickens and two chicks, one sheep, nine fish. I need to get that watering can up a little bit more, which we will do today because I think, yep, Bold is not here today. We'll get him back and uh, he'll work for the rest of the spring for us. Yep, we've shipped 107 turnips, which means we'll probably never ship another turnip ever again. We gotta get a 101 on uh, <coughs> turnips, potatoes, green beans and uh, cabbages and then it'll let us buy strawberries etc same stuff for summer fall you see at the bottom there there's milk uh, wool and below that her eggs milk wool below that you can turn eggs into mayonnaise milk into cheese and wool into yarn and sell them for more after you buy the upgrades you need to buy to make those things all right Hello, puppy. Alright. Okay. Just gotta remember to go get bold. Gotta make it to the supermarket today. And we'll probably take him. Well, we'll need to go to the supermarket. We need to go to the Harvest Bright's house. We'll take him a couple. Ooh, my potatoes are ready. Cool. So I don't have to. Okay. Right, so I do need to go to the supermarket and buy some more turnips because they're the only thing that will um, grow fast enough for me to harvest them before the end of spring, which time all your plants dies. What's up, supportive? Good morning to you too. Um, let me see. So yeah, you make sure to go get some turnips and go get bold and do a bunch of mining and hopefully not fall out like we did last time. But at least uh, we showed what happens when you work yourself to death. <coughs> and this wouldn't be a 100% playthrough if I didn't at least do that once, right? So cool. We have met that criteria. Let's talk to TT. And feed TT. We gotta go talk to Essie the horse. Make sure we take care of the animals first so we don't forget. You missed death. Oop, 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 back. Back, I see. There you go. She didn't misbehave too much this time. Grab some of these. Hopefully watering the turnip plants that I'm going to buy, I can get four, I can get a bunch of them, I can get like nine of them. Hmm. Uh, to, gotta remember to feed the fish too, after I get out of here. Should have put that egg on the incubator, huh? Well, I'll do it tomorrow. There's not another egg? No, not yet. <sighs> yeah, this game isn't about death much. But, uh, I could try to work myself to death. That'd be 
kind of cool. I don't think you can die in any Harvest Moon game. I don't think your animals can die either. They can be taken away from you. CPS comes, but... <laughs> Other than that... No death. PETA comes and takes all the animals away. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How much... How much work do I want to do, though? That's the question. Because I could get more money. I guess I probably should. I could plant nine turnips. My fields are ready. But I would have to water them all. One at a time. And Bold would probably not be able to take care of... To water all of them by himself. So I would have to help him out at night and water some of the crops. All that sounds like a lot of work. I guess I should quit being a lazy farmer and just get it done, huh? <coughs> I'm definitely gonna have to buy pineapple seeds, I don't know, ASAP? Very quickly, very soon? To make sure that I have them at the beginning of summer because that's going to be a lot of freaking money like three-fourths of the way through summer because they take forever to grow 21 days all right, that's all of, oops that's all the potatoes foraging on the way to the supermarket. We're going to take the back way. <coughs> Actually, it doesn't even make any sense because I'd have to drop them off before I went to the supermarket. There's too many. So yeah, let's just do this. We're going to wait on the chopping because we want to make sure we get there before we forget or it gets too late. But yeah, if you want to see death supportive, just come by when I'm playing New Vegas. Lots of death there. Mine as well as the other people's. Because I picked a fight with the Legion at the start of the game. Vilified immediately. So they, they're sending assassins after me from the very start of the game, which really sucks. I already had my, my breakfast and my lunch. is pretty amazing uh, for the story. Pretty much the same as Fallout 3 in terms of mechanics and everything, but the stories are just a thousand times better than Fallout 3. It's definitely time consuming. <laughs> What's going on, lady? Yeah, she talks a lot. Okay. <coughs> Replay it, eh? I'm in Camp McCarran in the game, which is a pretty awesome place. Come here. It's big, and I haven't figured out the whole area yet, because I can't find Daughtry or Curtis. People that I need to talk to. But we're going to do that today. Later on. Uh, that's the clinic, right? No, that's not. I was thinking about buying some more flour to give to Bold, but he has like a bunch of hearts, and that's not going to go down quickly, so we're just going to 
not give him any presents. Maybe on his birthday. But not today. Library girl still has a black heart for me. She'll love me one day. How much is this? Five thousand. Damn it. So the large rucksack and this thing, basket, both cost five thousand. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But we're here for turnip seeds. now we got lots of shit to do we need lots of money we should talk to him too just for a one point bonus to affection any villager you talk to one point I think it's one point might be two but who cares it gives a small affection bonus Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to get another helper because I'm going to have ten fields and bold. Bold can competently cover five of them, so I'm thinking if I get one more guy, I'll give him a bunch of flour to make him like me. If I get one more guy, they might be able to cover the entire thing, and I won't have to do any watering. Be right back one second. Right, so I am multitasking today. I'm working, playing a video game, and doing laundry at the same time. <laughs> but multitasking comes naturally because I did IT work for like three years, which we had to answer the phone, talk to the customer, research the problem, uh, sound like I already know what I'm talking about while I'm researching the topic and also entertain myself at the same time <laughs> so yeah it sucked but I can multitask like crazy alright So probably be all the flour I give this guy. I don't want to make another trip over there, back and forth. I got planting and watering to do. Plenty of time since we could work all night, but I'm just a lazy farmer, I guess. I can't really talk on Skype and watch a show at the same time, but I can play a game and watch a show at the same time. Not really while streaming. <laughs> Alright, so one of them's birthday is coming up. So we're going to get that guy. Aqua, light blue, spring 26. So we're going to give that guy some flower. No, we're not actually. Because we want him here in his house on his birthday. We don't want him in the field. Because if he's in the field, he's moving around, and I'm trying to give him a present, and, and it just misses because he takes a turn. So we want him sitting here in his house on his birthday so I can give him presents. So, we're going to go with the next birthday coming up. Timid, green, summer 16th. Alright, Timid. Have some flowers. <clears throat> I 
watch a show and play New Vegas. There's a lot of talking in New Vegas, though. But it also depends on the show or movie. You know, some movies I need to pay attention to, and some you already know what's going on, so. Right, so that made him go up one heart. Since it's not his birthday, he isn't totally happy because of the flower. Again, we, uh, some people think you can't get the harvest sprites to work with you in the spring because they're having a tea party, but all you have to do is talk to them five times, and then they'll agree. Um, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Oh, it's the wrong time of day. It's tea party time. That's not, that's not, it's not working. Got okay. We gotta wait till four o'clock. Um, you can join in their tea party if you give them if you give each of them flour. Okay. Well, they're having their tea party now, as you can see. Well, it's over, I guess. Now, will you come help me, son of a bitch? Can't stop the tea party. <laughs> Alright, you tea party motherfuckers. Let's wait till 4.10 and see what happens. <clears throat> Damn it. This is not good. I think I fucked it up by coming into their house during tea party time. Get to work in my fields, you assholes. Alright. One more shot, we're gonna wait till 5 o'clock. We'll try this too, but... You guys need to get back to your original positions. <clears throat> I also may have triggered the tea party thing by giving one of them flour at a certain time of day. If I plant all those turnips, it's going to be painful. I don't have to plant all those turnips yet, though, because they take five days to grow and it's only the 23rd. So, we're not planting them today. We're going to wait. And make sure we get here before 2 p.m. So we don't fuck this up again. Alright, tea party fail. That's part of my 100%. <laughs> We'll just say I did that on purpose. Just just to show you what happens, okay? That's what happens when you fuck it up. You're welcome. So all we need to do is water our cucumbers and we'll chop some wood while we're here. You're welcome. <laughs> but really, fucking up in this game is actually good because it's 100%. And fucking up is a percentage, right? It's part of the percentage. I have excuses all day long loaded with them. Um, let me make absolutely sure. Yep, five days. Okay. Ooh, I got 6,000 bucks. Look at that. It's all that mining I did. 
which I really need to do again today. ourselves out a little bit before we jump in the spa. Down the ladder is a mine level two. It looks exactly the same. Um, the difference is there's ten levels. The difference is the further you go, the you get better ore, but you get less of the instant cash, like that. First level has the most instant cash, which is what I'm going for at the moment. I'm just trying to tire myself out, and then we'll go way down the ladder and look for some blue ore after we refill our stamina. And I can't forget to water my cucumbers on the way back to the house. The instant cash is 10 bucks a pop, which is pretty useful for the very start of the game, but not so much later on, because it's only 10 bucks. And if you got the basket, you can fill it up with 30 blues and you got a crap load of money. All the layers of the mine look exactly the same so you're not missing anything I promise. <clears throat> Unless you're in the winter mine which you can't get to until the lake freezes over. Um, the bottom layer of the winter mine has a fishing spot. And you can't catch fish, you can catch one fish in it. One special fish. But not regular fish. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> it all looks the same. <laughs> Drop these couple of ores off, cheap ores, and water our cucumbers and get back to a little bit more mining. <coughs> Gotta make that money. That almost sounded like an old bone song. Yeah. Gotta make that money. I'm not gonna sing it, I'm not gonna do it. Nope. <laughs> All right. Now we're going down, 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 down into the mine. five blues and get out of here. Don't know why I kept that. <coughs> and why do I go in a straight line? Because it's easier. No other reason. Once I get the basket, I will be manipulating where the ladder appears since you can't mine around the ladder. So if you put it in the corner, it'll take up the least amount of mineable spots. 
that doesn't matter at this point. We're on like level six or seven, something like that. There's ten total. When we get the basket, we're actually going to have to count what level we're on because you can't fill your whole basket up just from level 10. So, and you can't climb up one level. So, the only way, so if you get to level 10 and your basket's still basically empty, you're not going to fill it up and you're going to have to dig your way all the way back down again to try to get to the blues again. I guess that makes sense how I said it, maybe. But we don't have the basket at the moment, so. So stamina in this game is pretty complicated. There's two different stamina sliders. Um, one is just regular stamina that you can refill with the spa. And the other one is like something that doesn't refill and it may have to do with the rate that the other stamina thing goes down. You can't refill that one. Um, and also I believe the, they are affected by the time of day. If you're working at night, it goes down faster. This is all invisible mechanics of the game. The company is very secretive about this type of thing for some reason. But people have figured it out. Because people love these games. I believe his name is Sky Render, has written most of the deep guides on a lot of the Harvest Moon games. Definitely do a couple more trips, I suppose. And even though we still have some stamina, we're going to rest in the springs anyway. Get it to 100. So 50 minutes in the hot springs, I believe it refills two, um, two stamina per minute you're in there. So 50 minutes brings it back up to 100. That's uh, my logical conclusion, not my exact knowledge on the mechanic. But Mr. Skyrender does say 50 minutes. So I'm going to assume two stamina per minute. So I just stay there for an hour every time and make sure. Grabbing gold ones just in case we tire out before we get five blues. 
sometimes it doesn't want to drop them. It's kind of weird calling that an, like a drop because he's digging it up out of the ground. It's not being dropped. <laughs> but that's video game terminology. Certain of his fatigue animations are different based on the two different stamina bars. Like that one he just did where he shakes his head, I believe is an indication of the more strange stamina bar that makes your stamina go down faster. That means he's getting tired. I usually see that one later at night or when I've been working for a while. I don't ever see it um, in the first the first working schedule thing. <laughs> I don't have the words for this game. Because I gotta make them up myself. They're not built into the game. It would be nice to have a visible stamina bar, but it really doesn't matter because if you understand it, basically, that you just need to jump in the hot springs whenever you're tired, you don't really need to see it. It would be nice uh, in extreme cases, such as my last my last stream where I passed out in the mine from working too hard um, the normal stamina bar because I was waiting for the normal stamina bar animation before he passes out completely he will fall down on his face but if the other stamina bar the weird one is too low he won't go all the way to that uh, animation before passing all the way out It's so weird and complicated. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have my own channel rip uh, emote, by the way. Do you have Franker Face Z? Because I got some custom emotes. And I have a tombstone. I also have Mr. Tao's face as an emote, which is just my favorite emote on Twitch. So Mr. Tao didn't used to have a, a face cam, but I talked him into I talked him into send, sending me a picture of his face in the Ella Creep pose because he's always he was always doing the Ella Creep emote. So I was like, we need a creepy Tao face instead, so you can just do your own face. Um, if you have Franker Face C, you have the little dog icon, doggy head icon right below the smiley face emote icon thing. Um, and it should have all of them in there. If you have Franker Face C installed. But I love the creepy towel one. It's uh, yeah, you need Franker Face C to use uh, custom emotes on uh, channels that aren't um, partners. But yeah, definitely get it. Just FrankerFaceZ.com. Just a quick extension install. And you can also make your own custom emotes for your channel through Franker Face C. It's pretty simple. And you can also uh, install 
other people's custom emotes onto your channel if you wish, if they have made them public. Yeah, you probably do. my favorite Adventure Time character. I am not getting a single blue and I'm about to pass out. This is not cool, man. One more gold and I'm out of here. Alright, one blue, four golds, whatever. Should probably quit while we're ahead today. It is 3 a.m. Drop these off, rest in the sauna, and off to bed. Well, that's cool. I hadn't heard anybody else say that she's their favorite yet. You're the first. <clears throat> I definitely like Lemon Grab a lot too. He's insane. And not just him, but the episodes he's in and his kingdom and all the shit that's around that whole storyline is just awesome. But LSP is like everything that's wrong with America. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> that's how I see her. America personified. days I'm definitely going to try and see what happens if we sleep in the sauna all night. I might actually try that now, but we're going to do a quick save first. All right, it works. Um, wait. Okay. We quick save just in case. We're going to sit in the sauna all night till 6 o'clock, see what happens. I think we're just going to wake up in our house, if I remember correctly, but I might be wrong. We're about to find out. a.m. Bam! Wake up, everything's fine. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, the only problem with that is that you cannot save if you do that, but I don't care. I can quick save, right? Rain tomorrow. Okay. That's stupid. I'll have my harvest sprites by then. Um, I definitely believe I want to plant the turnips today. Yep, Franker Z is pretty cool. <coughs> so yeah, we're going to have to do a bunch of work here. Crap load. You can call it Franker Z. We'll know what you're talking about. Or Franker faces. Make sure no weeds have grown in my fields. No, we're good. Okay. I'm gonna have to water every single one of those. I'm not looking forward to it at all. There's Franker. Mm, 
you should definitely come up with something. No, Essie. Essie. No, no. Mm, bad horse. Brush your butt. Oh, no. Go that way. Go that way. There you go. Always trying to run out the damn barn. So it's the 24th, um, it's Tuesday, next birthday is the 26th, next festival is summer the 1st. I'm wondering if I should upgrade my house or buy pineapples. I should be able to get another 5,000 before... I need to upgrade chicken coop. I need a gold watering can, which is going to cost 4000 or 4000 I think. And I need $5,000 worth of pineapple seeds. So I need like 8000 more. be right back just a second. <laughs> you do that, Jordan. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Now, decisions, decisions. I have to get to the Harvest Sprite house before 2 p.m. so I don't trigger their fucking tea party and they won't come work for me. Uh, it's 7 a.m. Um... If I water everything, I could upgrade my watering can today. Doesn't need to happen though. Don't keep food in your house at all. You're a strange one. You just eat out all the time? It's like expensive and stuff. Let's see, how you doing? Good morning. How you feeling today, I see? Master Chicken. <laughs> right, so the first thing we really need to do is water all of this bullshit. It's gonna take forever. I'm gonna complain the whole time, too. Watering. I need my gold can. I'm upgrading it today. And I'll just have to hope that my sprites can get everything done. Alrighty, sportive.
cool, cool. It's gonna suck going back to school, isn't it? You'll be missing, you'll be missing Harvest Moon streams. It's a tragedy. I do need a gold ore. Um, I also need to make sure my watering can is up to gold status before I actually do that, don't I? Well, I guess you're just going to have to be sick forever so you can watch Harvest Moon forever. <laughs> Why do you have to get better, Essie? Jeez, selfish. Yeah, just just drop out. Fuck school. Okay, um where's my watering can at? It's a gold. <sighs> Damn it, I gotta go talk to the sprites first. That's a priority. I gotta get there before two PM because last time I fucked it up and I triggered their tea party and they wouldn't come work for me. <laughs> oh my glob. Indeed. <laughs> you just can't win, can you? <laughs> right, so we're going to get two sprites. Hopefully they can cover these ten fields I've got going on. Bold did fine with five from the start, so I'm guessing they should be okay. <laughs> Alright, you first. Don't care about your stupid tea party. If I get my large rucksack before the end of spring, I can join in their tea party, or else we'll just wait for next year. Tea party! All right, and we're also going to enlist Timid. Timid, get your ass in those fields. I don't care if you don't want to work. Get over it. You'll try your best. You'll be there, buddy. Alright, Blacksmith is open until 4 p.m. We gotta go grab a gold ore. Go upgrade our watering can. <clears throat> Too bad. He has to work. <laughs> you don't work, you don't eat. and chopping a little bit later. For now, we want gold. You're tired already, whatever. Being a wuss. Lots of glod. All the glod.
There's nothing at all on the outside edges, like right here. Glod for days. There we go. See if we can't get any other stuff while we're down here. Before we get too tired. Nope. Alex, what is up? <laughs> Right into your veins. And one more something and we're out of here. Essie's gonna go back to school soon. Oh shit. Which means she'll be missing Harvest Moon streams. Tell her to not go back to school ever again. Harvest Moon needs her. <laughs> Attention seeking Pricklet? Alrighty. Pricklet. It's a funny word. See you later, buddy. Okay, get rid of that one, that one, and that one. Cool. Get that there. Ugh. Have I done anything today? I don't know. I need to take care of my chickens. And not throw that gold out. Cool. <clears throat> Stop rubbing onions in your water spring. You're weird. No mail for me. Okay. It's time to upgrade. Ooh, what are you doing here, Rick? Hello, Spar. Shut up. No mail. Okay. That's right, that's right, that's right. Let's do this. Golden water and can hype. In three days, anyway. Oh, 3,000. That's better than four. That's what I thought it was. Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> Everybody's leaving us today. It's not it's not right. Okay, what am I doing? Let's make sure my animals are taken care of. And we'll probably have to do some more mining. Let's see, let's make sure I didn't forget about TT in here. TT has been fed. That means Essie has been brushed and whistled at as well. Oh shit, wait, I'm, I'm out of energy. I can swing that thing one more time and pass out and wake up. So we're gonna need to go take a dip. Hey Karen! Where's Puppery? No? <laughs> TT will always look like a poodle. Till he grows some wool and then I'll cut it off and it'll look like a poodle again. It's funny how if you're sitting in the sauna, let me check this out. You're sitting in the sauna, you're chilling, you're relaxing, 
He closes his eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You don't want to. Never mind. I'll show you next time. Anyway, whenever he's chilling in the sauna with his eyes closed, you hit the button once and he he wakes up like his eyes are open like this. And you hit the button again and he gets out. It's kind of weird. Kind of funny. Let me do this. Well. Oh, I don't have my axe on me. <laughs> he didn't want to close his fucking eyes. The buyer came and we have 3700 right now. Let's go get our axe. It sounds exactly like Alex. stuff right now. <clears throat> we'll just keep an open slot for the next few days so I can so I don't fuck up going and grabbing my fancy new watering can. to upgrade my axe too, where I can kill these guys in one chop. It will be glorious. So the next chance we get, I think we're going to upgrade our chicken coop. But we also need to buy $5,000 worth of pineapple seeds. Okay, I got another thousand. Thought he'd already, the buyer had already come, but he hadn't. So I can get the rest of that money right now in the mine. I'll have 5,000 starting tomorrow. And I guess I'll do the house upgrade. And then hope we make another 5,000 before the end of the, the season for our pineapple seeds. <laughs> well, you have to eat. It's a good excuse for leaving. Eating is necessary. I won't be mad at you this time. go down. I'm supposed to be... I need instant cash right now. The last one. Oh no. It might be. Yeah, because I stream like... Yeah, for you it's like Monday morning through Friday morning. Harvest Moon. Doubt I'll do any on the weekends at all. Because I'm not at work. take me two passes of uh, mining this first layer, this first level, to get to 5,000. 
Because I need uh, 85 more. That's nine more. I might get it this time. Eight more. Seven. Dope. Six. Five. Four. Oh, damn it. Three. All right, I need two more. But I got to take a dip. Or I'm just going to pass out. So a game my brother told me I needed to play was Pillars of Eternity um, because I'm loving the writing <coughs> by Obsidian and Fallout New Vegas. Pillars of Eternity is another Obsidian game. And my brother, who is an English major, says it's the best writing he's ever encountered in a video game. Obsidian also did um, South Park The Stick of Truth. Which means I had to play that game even more now. Uh, that game has great reviews and everything. Everybody loves it. Good RPG and I want to play it. But knowing that it's made by Obsidian made me want to play it that much more. Alright. How many more? Like a couple? That's it. All right. Be right back. Just a second. leg was almost completely asleep when I stood up right there. I took a big step and almost fell over. But you didn't get to see it. Ha ha. Okay. Um, Pillars of Eternity is like an old school isometric RPG by Obsidian. It was like crowdfunded and uh, apparently it has good writing, good storylines and stuff. I will definitely play it. Eventually Right now my RPG schedule is Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and then Oblivion. Those are the those that's the plan. Then perhaps Pillars of Eternity or South Park Stick of Truth. But we'll figure that out later. Yep, Oblivion's going to be a lot of fun. I've played Elder Scrolls Part 1, 2, and 3. Beat the first one, Arena, which is my favorite. It was an unforgettable experience, honestly. Because of the absolute freedom you have. Games like Oblivion and Skyrim and all that, they are known for you are free to do whatever you want, but they also limit the player. Um, arena did not limit you in any way. You could overpower yourself like crazy, which is what I would really do if I was in that situation. If I was a mage in a hostile world, traveling into dungeons, I would. What would I do? I would. I would look up maps for the place I was going, which I did on the internet. I would sit in my hotel room and practice magic until I got really good at it. I would. You could make your own spells, so I would make combo spells, like I would make one that was like shield, light, speed, then I'd make another one that was like fire defense, lightning defense, ice defense. I would make another, I would cast all these spells like at the entrance of the dungeon and then run in there and just 
I would often use invisibility as well. Just run around all the enemies, get to the objective. Do it how I would really do it if I was really doing it in real life. Which was just awesome. And since then, Elder Scrolls games just get more and more limiting because they don't want the player to break the game, I suppose. Alright, we have our 5,000. We're going to get our house upgrade started in the morning. And hi, Mr. Tao, by the way. I'm rambling on here. Don't have time to say hi. <laughs> what an asshole. Damn it, Mr. Tao, are you at, are you at work? Are you sick too? Are you telling Essie to go to school when you're not going to work? Or what? Morning, Arbo. How you doing? I believe Arbo is going to be my next chicken when this egg I've got incubating hatches. Okay, it should be raining today, which doesn't matter because, oh, and tomorrow, nice. Because I've got sprites working for me. I guess I could have not got them to work for me until the rain was past because they don't have anything to do. And you can only hire them for a week at a time? Huh. Arbos, everybody's freaking sick. Y'all stop that right now. Alright, so Wednesday the 25th, no birthdays, no festivals. Um. Ooh. Uh, cucumbers, I think these are. They look like green beans, but whatever. They can be cucumbers if they want. Say hi to TT. Hi, TT. Let's go say hi to Essie. Let's see how bad she's going to behave herself today. Nope. Nope. Uh. Alright. Done with Essie. Essie pony. <laughs> Camel time. Come on, grab your friends. We'll go to very distant lands. And see the pony and tow the sheep. <laughs> Fun will never end. Tao's not a sheep, why did I say that? Tao's a chicken. <laughs> it's dumpy time. Alright, so this guy in this house right over here is the one that upgrades my house. And this time, my chicken house. I don't know what time he wakes up though. Not yet. Maybe at 9. Bam! Jordan's back. If I say hi to Jordan, that's his name by the way. He's a handsome guy from New Jersey. And we can all be jealous of where he lives now in Hawaii. Phantom Hive. Welcome, welcome. Damn 
Damn it, why is it locked? That's his house, 11 a.m. Okay, we'll be back. We're really getting stuff done today. We have put in our watering can for golden upgrade, which is awesome. That means when I have to water my own fields, it won't be such a pain in the ass. And, um... <laughs> yeah, I guess. Whatever. Um... <laughs> 937 is 238. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, apparently I have more than one clock to look at. Which one's right? I don't know. I'm going to go with the one on the screen in front of me. It says 11 a.m. It's 11 a.m. somewhere. Okay, not really, but it's 11.38 somewhere. It's 11.38 p.m. somewhere. I always think this guy's a mailman, but he, he's a cop. Looks like a freaking mailman. Hey, what's up? Hold on, let me talk to this other guy before I do anything with him. This is Lewis. He's, uh, some kind of nature guy since he's carrying around a butterfly net. It's not okay, but I'm going with it anyway. Alright. Chicken Coop expansion starts tomorrow. Sweet. Now the last thing we need for spring is $5,000 <sighs> to buy our pineapple seeds. Maybe five thousand for the rucksack if we can get that. <laughs> All right. So what game was it, Phantom? Addictive games are cool. Addictive, addictive, eh, addictive games like this, Guild of Dungeoneering. I seem to play a lot of addictive games. The Guild 2, definitely one I've heard of. Mainly because every time I go to type Guild of Dungeoneering into the game selection thing here on Twitch to designate what I'm streaming that day, as soon as I type Guild, that comes up. Yeah, that's all I know about the game. Well, if you want to save money, then you should, Supportive. Or you could just, like, get a wife. <laughs> just make sure your girlfriend knows how to cook. That's all I'm saying. PB Hype. What was your time, Mr. Tao? And how much better is it? So it's addictive. What is it like? I was thinking it was either... I was thinking it was RPG, but maybe MMO. I didn't know if it was MMO or not. <laughs> You're right about that, Supportive. I sure don't. It would be unfair for me to even try at this point in my life. I'd rather stream. I think we talked about that yesterday, though. <laughs> In that game, you met a girl and married her the same day. Did you feel dirty? Well, 
115.69. So sub 14, like that big early goal. Like a, a sub uh, 14 in uh, Alien Syndrome. Will you become a man when you get sub 114? Better version of the Sims. More detail and glitches. Or more detail glitches. Building your destiny. I still have no idea what, it, what, it's, <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> but I guess, guess if it's like the Sims, I guess I understand. Back, back on this goddamn mining. Gotta make that money. We're at crunch time. I've been lazy for a little while during this season. No more lazy allowed. We got crap to buy. Lots of crap to buy. I would love to earn 15000 before the end of this season in the next five days, but I doubt it's going to happen. If it did, that would be amazing because I would have large rucksack basket and all my pineapple seeds. That would be awesome. That's a lot of money at this point. sounds something like something that I would love Phantom because I love making money games <laughs> if it's a uh, like light strategy and you're making money and expanding I love that kind of shit games like Railroad Tycoon for example Or even some of the like casual sort of games like Cinema Tycoon and Lemonade Tycoon and yeah. I like those games. They're addictive and fun. It's fun to make that money. Maybe because I don't care about money whatsoever in real life. I like to play games where I make money. <laughs> Who knows? So can you only get a waifu or is this... Oop. There goes my stream. Should come back. Come on now, Internet. Work with me here.
it's trying. And it's dying. Okay, be right back. Just a moment here. Should be good now. <clears throat> yep, looks like we're back. Camel won't ever die, it's just continuously dying forever like all of us. But nothing actually ever dies. You just change form. 
and do something else. Your molecules, every molecule in your body was here on this planet, in this universe. Maybe not even on this planet, but in this universe, since forever. And you will die, and your molecules will be in this universe forever. So, it kind of makes it to where I don't have much of a fear of death. I've been here forever, and I'll be here forever after I die. And also what Mark Twain said. He said that I was dead for millions of years before I was born. It didn't bother me then. Why is it going to bother me after I die? <coughs> Well, as far as we know, whatever that law of thermodynamics or whatever it is, matter cannot be created or destroyed. Even if the universe dies, it would just become something else, right? Now I'm just theorizing. <laughs> Phantom, are you talking about Guild 2 again. Your shopkeep. I think your waifu needs an update. Oops. Well, that's my kind of stuff, Mr. Tao. This is the space caravan, after all. I can say my life was honestly changed by watching the old Cosmos TV show. Not the new one with Tyson. That one's crap. The original with uh, uh, my hero, Carl Sagan, and his wonderful turtleneck. Changed how I see the universe and our place in it. Brilliant show. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It explains everything about science and the cosmos from the ground up by explaining and telling the story of how people discovered different things about the universe. Oh, a shopkeeper's game where you are controlling a medieval shop. Cool, cool, cool. I like the sound of all the games you're telling me about today. It's my kind of stuff, but it's also probably not stuff I would stream. But maybe, I don't know. I often find it strange how some games, like Guild of Engineering or Harvest Moon, get a lot of views, and then something that's more visceral and uh, visually appealing and action-packed gets less views. <laughs> it's kind of strange to me sometimes. But I went over to my friend's house um, the other day, and she has a seven-year-old. I think he turned seven. And we put on my Harvest Moon playthrough video, and he was just enthralled. He loved it. And I was like, well, I guess... That's why this gets a lot of views on Twitch. The kids love it. I'm too old to understand your generation. <laughs> back in my day, uh, I have to say back in my day at least once per stream. It's a rule now. I was thinking Guild 2 might be a streamable kind of thing. I should just not worry about what should be streamed and what shouldn't and just stream whatever I feel like playing because, you know, I have no idea and no way of knowing what people actually want to watch besides, like, the obvious 
ones that everybody watches, like League of Legends and Rocket League and stuff like that. Then those aren't good for me to stream because there's already a billion people streaming them and I would be lost in the shovel, so... Yeah, once again, it comes down to I should just shut up, stream the games that I feel like playing, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I try to find the balance between what I want to play and what people want to see me play. But, you know, I'm not going to play something that I don't want to play. Absolutely not. I'm not going to play fucking Rocket League. It, I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it's a lot of fun to play. But it's just not my kind of game. I'm, I don't like casual stuff very much. I like to progress in a story. Get somewhere in the game, finish a level, see different stuff. It's my sense of accomplishment, maybe. I know there's accomplishment. You can get better and beat, win ranked matches and rank up and all that kind of stuff. But still, not the kind of stuff I like. I'd sell out though, you know. If people gave me a bunch of money to play Rocket League, I'd play it. <laughs> uh, that's probably a joke, you know, mostly. People could give me a lot of money to play Rocket League once, but I wouldn't play it all the fucking time. The most important thing about streaming is that you're enjoying what you're doing. If you're not, then why the fuck are you doing it? And I know that for partners and people who have been doing it a long time, and especially like people like Widwicks who played Boshi every day for fucking years, I'm sure they get tired of what they're doing, but they keep doing it because they're getting paid for it. It becomes a job. That's a concern for the future, possibly. But I don't want to be that person to where I'm playing the same shit every day, doing the same thing every day. I'd rather be what they call a variety streamer. Because that's a lot more fun to me. Might be all the mining we're doing for today. <coughs> Perhaps. I know I said it was crunch time, but mining is so fucking monotonous. <laughs> and that just goes right along with what we're talking about, isn't it? I'm making money mining, but it's monotonous. Same thing as, uh, Streaming the same shit every day, isn't it? No mail. Sad face. Okay, uh, give me like five minutes max. I gotta hang up a couple shirts and get a cup of coffee, and I will be right back. Be right back.
I am back. I don't think that was even five minutes, was it? You're absolutely right, Phantom. Um, you could call it uh, content versus um, uh, personality. You know? There's some people will watch people because of their personality, and some that watch because of the content. I want to be midway. I would like people to watch my stuff for my personality, but I don't have the best char charisma and enthusiasm and energy as a lot of other streamers. Um, so I focus on content. And I try to be nice, because for me, the best streamers are the nice ones. They don't have to be full of energy and crazy, as long as they're nice. I can do that. I'm a big meanie, but I'm also nice. <laughs> Giacomo, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, Alright, we need to go rest. Relax in the spa, and... Yeah, we're probably going to have to mine again. So I wonder if my shout-out command still works. Let's see here. Y'all should go check that guy out. Giacomo reminded me that's where I found Giacomo. That's the German guy I was telling you about, Mr. Tao, who's on his first playthrough of Dark Souls. He's a nice streamer. Very nice guy. Even takes, uh... Oh shit, get back on the, back on the game there. Uh, even takes, uh, harsh comments rather well. I like the guy. Check him out. Especially if you like watching Dark Souls first playthroughs. Go follow him. He's cool. He's a German guy, speaks uh, in English 99% of the time, but he'll respond to uh, Russian and German people in chat. He doesn't commentate in anything but English. Oh shit, crushed your foot. Ow, I have done that. <laughs> uh, I have dropped a weight on my foot before. It sucks. Content watchers are more in large quantities, but have a low follower subscriber count. Personality a lot less who watch the stream, but are most of the time followed and subscribed. I see what you mean. Content people have less followers, but the followers tune in more. And personality people have way more followers, but they don't tune in every time. I suppose that's true. Hadn't thought about it. No, it's not Giacomo, it's uh, the guy who's, I met Giacomo in the guy's channel. <laughs> it's not Giacomo himself. <laughs> Giacomo has played a shitload of Dark Souls. Yeah, sorry I was confusing with that, I guess. Takamo just reminded me to shout out the other guy who I enjoy watching. So what I've really been focused on and trying to do lately is whenever I'm done streaming for the night, I try to uh, find a new streamer to watch. I just search a random game or I go to random, click on random on Twitch or whatever and I try to find somebody new for me to watch, like a smaller type of streamer, or even a big one, if they're cool. Because one thing I really like doing is bringing new streamers on board. I'm not like a big streamer, I don't have a shitload of followers, but we can team up, you know? 
And if there's a small streamer I really enjoy, I think the people that watch my stream would enjoy them as well, so... I'm trying to find new blood, new people to watch and hang out with and be part of our part of our crew. <laughs> How can you forget Dark Souls? <laughs> I will never forget. <laughs> Dang it, there goes the stream again. Let's see if it reconnects. Come on there, internet. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Be right back, one more reset. Come on, come on, come on. We're there, we're there, we're there. We're there, we're there, we're there. We're there, we're there, we're there. She's 
Should be back now. Missed a message or two in there. Okay. We're back. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes. OBS says it's working. It's not loading the stream for me yet, though. Thank you for the host, by the way, Giacomo. Which isn't loading my stream, but I seem to uh, be streaming okay. Yeah. Oh dear God! Don't do this to me. <coughs> Save yourself, internet. I want presents. <laughs> Looking okay. All right, let's jump back in this damn game. Okay. <sighs> What's mine? Exciting. Thank you, Jacobo. Hosts are always helpful. I know I should do more of it. More hosting of other people. I can never remember to host someone when I'm ending my stream. <coughs> and I should just host people randomly whenever I'm not actually streaming. Because that does mean that all my followers see their channel under hosted channels. So it's a good thing to do for people. And I should stop forgetting to do it. We could make one more mining run. I think we are. It's crunch time. Everybody compares this game to Farmville. <laughs> But no, there's much more depth. You know, there's actual storylines going on and stuff. But it is a farming game. So the comparisons to Farmville are inevitable. Well, 2.5D. And um, there's a lot of story things that I'm not doing at the moment because this first year I'm focusing on making mad money. And then in year two and three I will be focusing more on uh, the relationships of the town and stuff like that. But I need money first. So I can relax and make friends in the rest of this game. <coughs> First year we want to do all our house upgrades, we want to do all our equipment upgrades. 
Here's the damn ladder. We want to sell a hundred of every crop if we can. We'll probably get that done in summer and fall. Not enough money for that, really, for time in the first spring. We'll get a hot house eventually where we can grow stuff during the winter. That's the last house upgrade though. Five total of them. And they cost a lot of money and a lot of lumber. I personally have not played or even seen the DS remake. Um, do you have the capabilities to uh, stream DS games? That would be the big question, right? You need like special equipment to do that, huh? I mean, actually, honestly, I would do the remake just because pretty much everybody has seen the Super Nintendo version, and I would imagine there are less people who have seen the remake, and people who have played the original version might want to see the DS version, unless it sucks. Feel the same. Damn, damn, damn. That's sad to hear. Because it had charm for days. Definitely one of the best games ever made. In so many ways. Graphics, music, gameplay, depth. Tons of ending, I mean, all that shit. Yeah, it could be you're just uh, nostalgic. And the DS version isn't giving you the nostalgia. Definitely possible. Scrap with us. <clears throat> right, we could do more mining runs. We're not, okay? Not. I'm done. For today. In the game, I mean. food. <laughs> Alright, I dip in the spa, off to bed. Tomorrow is one of the Harvest Sprite's birthdays. Supermarket will be open, we'll give them a bunch of flour. can will be ready on Friday. The house will be done maybe Saturday. We will see Gots uh, working on our house when we, when we wake up in the morning. Well, that's cool. I never really I never really understood the wanting to run those games in 1080. It's like, for me, they were, I liked the graphics that they had when they came out. And maybe it's my childhood talking, like you were saying, but as long as it looks okay, I mean, it looks true to the original, I don't really care if it's 1080p. 
but I'm not a huge graphics guy even though I do I'm not an anti graphics guy I prefer gameplay over graphics however sometimes graphics improves gameplay in a lot of games really Yep, that's what I was thinking, Mr. Tao. Okay. Thursday the 26th, make sure we go give Aqua a bunch of flour today. And uh, let's take care of our animals first. Okay. We have 2280 at the moment. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Mr. Tao plays this game called Skyborn and he reads all the dialogue. I love it. <laughs> Mr. Tao's reading voice is awesome. I wish he would do the, the female voices though, in a higher pitch. He needs, to, he needs to get on that part of it, at least. Handheld N64, that's pretty cool. And see Pony! Yep. These lazy fucking sprites. They, they've been sitting on their asses for two days while it's been raining. That's right. I agree, supportive. He's being a lazy streamer. Not giving his audience what they want. <laughs> we expect Soprano. It doesn't have to be good, I mean, it doesn't have to actually sound like a girl, but that's the whole point. <laughs> it's supposed to sound like a 197 centimeter German dude trying to do a female voice in a game. Awesome. <laughs> frame rate issues. I'm having a few here in the game. Not too bad, but a little bit. <laughs> oh god, that massive fucking controller was a monstrosity. Alrighty SE, see you in a little bit. I got about an hour left in the stream. Maybe a little more. already gone. <laughs> you make that frozen pizza, Essie. You make it good. Right, so supportive, how tall is 192 cent? God damn it. That's what happens when you miss the door, 100% hype. Okay. Glad I got to show you that. Uh, I, if I remember right, I'm like 180 something centimeters, but I could be wrong. My memory is shit. I'm 6'1. <clears throat> See, there's Mr. Gotts working on my hen house. Get our ass to the supermarket, get some flour, give it to Mr. Aqua, whose birthday is today.
In the next few days, I'm definitely going to need to buy them pineapple seeds. I want to plant them on the first, but it doesn't matter if I get them on the first, plant them on the first or the second. I guess that would be right. Six feet. I'm above that. Six four is pretty tall. You're about that much taller than me, Mr. Tao. <clears throat> what am I doing? I need to buy seeds. Technically, it would be six apostrophe four. Uh, well, point? Okay. Yeah. I don't know what uh, conversion thing you're using there, but yeah, like that. <coughs> Unless the conversion was giving you 6.46, which would be like 6.5 feet, which would be like 6.6. Six. I don't know what his conversion did there. It was six and a half or six four. <clears throat> but yeah, six six is really tall. <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Tao, we don't know if that point four six is uh, decimal or uh, um, inches. Uh, light blue aqua. You guy. You. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's a half. Half a foot. Because we don't use decimals in our measurements. Feet plus inches. So. And there's 12 inches in a foot, so decimal doesn't work really. I know, it's weird. We Americans, we're weird. We just want to rebel against the rest of the world. And that's correct. I don't need this guy to work right now. But I think I will just so I have an overlapping sprite watering going on. So that there won't be any days where I don't have anybody working. It's actually the smart way to do it. So that's what you should do if you play this game. Stagger them. You can see two guys stop after six days. And then there won't be anybody working. And you can't get them to work on the same day that you talk to them. It's the next day, so... If you stagger them like this, you will have time to get the other guys going. Okay. So now we got three assholes working on our farm for us. Three slaves who work for flour. How much money do I have? Not nearly enough for my pineapples. <laughs> That's it, Phantom. But you know, didn't the Brit the Brits did come up with the the English system, right? So if we were rebelling against the English, we would be using metric, right? We only want to rebel a little bit. Oh no, not again! Stupid internet. Bye. -bye.
Come on now. Come on now. be back now. Come on. Yes, no, yes, no. We're coming back. Fuck you, internet. Fucking piece of shit.
Alright, last try here. Sorry if you're watching this on YouTube and we're having a whole bunch of shitty internet problems here. <clears throat> we're about to stop fucking with it and uh, finish the day and end the video. God, this is bad. Okay, we renewed my IP address. My limited connection has disappeared. Try a web page first. Web page works. One more try on the stream. Last try on the stream. Bong. That's going to be it. I'm not even going to let you give me hope. It's okay, though. Yeah. 
even know if I'm actually connected to chat. Shift F5 to reload that. Now reloading. All right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. And we're gonna finish up this day and stop the video. The messages aren't even going to chat. All right. The chat itself will at least load so I can tell them what's going on. Please, thank you. Come on. Let's just go in this day. Sorry, 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 you two people. Probably uh, not fun to watch. We're gonna end this. And uh, yeah. Damn it, just in time for the birth too. Oh well, we got it saved. Um, we'll do a quick save once we get over here. <coughs> well, I guess not, because I don't want a quick save right here. Alright, that's it.
thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I would thank the chat for hanging out and stuff, but they can't hear me at the moment. Thank you, YouTube watchers. Hope you enjoy the run. Bye-bye.